so just to show you guys now the ECU have been refitted in its place and now we're gonna attempt to start the car again and the keys is in here you see this is a new cluster as well you're gonna see the immobilizer is blinking start the car the car does start normally no problems but this light will stay on some warnings for the sensors and everything is fine So this video is about uh, disabling the immobilizer on the ME7 or ME7.5 for the Audi TT or VAG engines. So in order to do that you gonna need a CH, this is like the cheapest way to do it, CH34A, 341A uh, programmer. If you use this clip it's gonna be the easiest way, so you don't need to solder and desolder the immobilizer chip what you need to do is just to take the ECU out from the car and this of course you need you need for many reasons so you open these four bolts and then you have this kind of gluey silicone just the four bolts you take off the gluey silicone it's gonna be a little hard for you but this is just made ready so I've been searching all over the internet to find a way for programming this one and I couldn't find so this one might help you a lot so what you need what you're gonna see when you open the ECU it's just gonna be like that you got several ICs and the prompts two e prompts what you're gonna look for is this one was with, with the number of it's gonna be hard to see any numbers here I try to focus so the one you're gonna need is the number 95040 95040 three and there is other numbers and it's an ST EPROM so what you're gonna do is just to have a, a ready programmed uh, application or a ready programmed file so what you're gonna do is just to bring it in here you see I have tons of applications and program softwares I have been trying to pro make it so what you need is to get this one for example a file which I got it already from the Audi TT thanks to the guys who made this they made it for the BAM engine but I have APX engine and it shouldn't be a problem to run the car so immobilizer remover, moderator, John H, DXN, Icon 66, T3, RPO, and Hoggy. So in this, they are explaining for you where is the IC or the EEPROM. What you need to do is to desolder it and just solder it in another uh, programmer. And there is no really much of a help more than the file in here. So they explaining for you what to do and something like that, but the <coughs> the like uh, specific or the like deep explaining is not in there. What kind of program, what kind of uh, software, or what kind of uh, device you're gonna need? It's not mentioned. So I just downloaded this one, and then I was searching for long time for the. For the program after buying this CH341A and the program what I found was this one this one would not really help you even though when you come the red one the red wire is for the first bin and if you look here is first bin here is first bin and all of them the writing is here and also it says in the internet where, where, where is the first bin if you look for the specification of this EEPROM, so the first pin is just like the others in this one, it's gonna be the bottom uh, uh, right for me in here, 
when I hold it. So I just clips it down here, make sure everything is in right place. And what you need to connect it for is you connect it for 25xx EEPROM, which the first bin is going to be up towards the handle in here. So the handle will be opened like this. And then you take it out. Use this one. If you get this, if you get these cables, use this one. Don't use this one. Don't use this one. This one did not work for me. I was working for about half an hour to find out and it didn't work. So I just tried this one. Even it's just a simple connections, but this one did work. So make sure you are putting it just like that here and you clips it then if you come in here to this program and you choose the ST there is no uh, 95XX or 9540 EEPROM you're not gonna find it here you just press detect it's not gonna give you anything you read it and you're gonna get some readings and you can verify it and it will say verifying is fine but when you try to erase or program or make anything, it will just not work. So I have been searching so much for many other applications to use it with, with, the, same, with the same program or with the same uh, device. And it turned that there is only one program, which is called As Programmer. As Programmer here. You can find it easily through the internet. I don't really need to, to put it on uh, links or anything for you. You just can write as programmer and you will get immediately a download application or download the device. Then uh, download the links. So you come here, you choose the hardware, CH341A, and you have to choose the as programmer which supports CH341A. Then you come to the IC, SBI, and this is an STIC or uh, ST EEPROM. So you just keep coming in here scroll down until you find ST and it's M950 40 M950 40 you right open this one then you just read IC you get the readings immediately verify it you get verify in here it says verify now we open our RDTT off emplizer from the from the RDTT forum and you see here, if we try to verify it, it will say verification error in address. So what you need to do is just to program IC, begin programming, execute, fine, verify. Now it's verified and it's okay. So that's all what you need to do to program. These are the applications. If you have the specific uh, like uh, programming if you have the specific programming rows and you know how to change or what to change exactly like you put numbers in here and you fix your EEPROM or whatever you want to do then do that don't just don't go upload any uh, files from any forums just uh, do the right uh, things for your ECU or for your engine code and then program the car and that would work for you much better. Uh, for me, I have the 225 engine APX, and uh, it's uh, about the same like the BAM engine. So I just use the ready one, and this is the ready one. If you see my original, if you look in here, and this is this is my original. The first thing. The first thing, sorry, the first thing to do after reading and verifying is to save. It's so important step to save your old uh, EEPROM uh, program. Just save it. I did save it and it's here. I named it here uh, as program. And this is my uh, car, the car registration. So as program. Now this is how it looked like. If you see how different both of them looks you see all these numbers many numbers have been changed 
and this did work for me perfectly without trouble the first uh, several times uh, it did uh, it did actually uh, start then stop like the immobilizer is on but that was only because the petrol was not going in the engine then just in the third attempt it started normally without problem uh, the if you have a new cluster and you are doing this because of the new cluster you want to cancel the immobilizer because of the cluster problems then the cluster uh, light the cluster immobilizer light will not turn off it will start to blink all the time that's just because you need to sync the immobilizer with the uh, um, you need to sync the cluster with the ecu immobilizer so in order to do that you need those numbers and in the beginning that's why you already doing these things because you don't have the number or you just you don't want to bother to go search and you just want to make new keys also it's like many many things are involved uh, for this process if you if you are already here to do it uh, that's the easiest way that's the cheapest way this is just a 12 15 dollars about and the programs are for free and you only need your handwork which is going to take you about one hour if you have all these programs and all the steps ready for your immobilizer to go off that now did work perfectly without problem hope this helps you guys